NASA's last visit to the moon was in 1972. Now they're going back. Tara Prindevel is here to tell us how Arizona is playing an important role. Tara? When NASA returns to the moon, they're planning on building a habitat where astronauts will live and work. They're testing lunar rovers like the athlete in our very own backyard. A new mission has brought NASA astronauts here to the picturesque mountains of northern Arizona where NASA is preparing for their next trip to the moon. This is a 12 wheel vehicle and each one of these has their own drive motor and their own active suspension. Astronaut Mike Gernhardt is among those working to develop advanced robotics for the anticipated 2020 mission. They've been testing the lunar rovers at the Black Point lava flow for the past two weeks, a place whose surface is similar to the one found on the moon. Uh, it can reach the ground in a single step. It can walk directly off the lander and, uh, and thereby transport that cargo anywhere uh, in the vicinity of the lander. The LER and athlete are the two primary rovers. The Sixland athlete will handle cargo on the moon. This vehicle has a top speed of about walking speed. And, and so at that speed, uh, you could circumnavigate the moon. You go all the way around the moon in just a few months. One potential roadblock, Congress is currently reviewing the value of the space program. But Gernhardt remains focused on getting the vehicles into space. I am absolutely confident that we'll see this on the moon. It's just a matter of when. And sooner is better as far as I'm concerned. So that you can... Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to have a shot to go with you back. Until then, Gernhardt will remain here on Earth, a place with plenty of gravity to go around. It'll be another 10 years until NASA gets these vehicles to the moon. They are prototypes, so expect a few tweaks here and there, but the Athlete and Lunar Electric Rover are pretty much ready to go. Tara Prindeville, Cronkite News.